Hi, I'm Dan Webster from Stratatech Test and Measurement. Today I'm going to unbox the Mattrell MI3280 Digital Transformer Analyzer. So let's get this thing open. All right, open our nice big blue box here. We have the unit. We have a big soft case for accessories and lots and lots of test leads. So let's open those and see what we've got here in front of us. Okay. So, this is the case for the accessories. Not much confusing there. Let's continue on here. Okay, so if, this is what the leads look like that come with it and they're uh, eight feet long test leads. And you've got, uh, we've got our blue, we've got red, and we've got uh, yellow, all these different colors here. These are the different test leads. They're rated to 20 amps, 600 volts, cat three. So let me get those out of the way. Okay. Moving right along, let's open up the actual 3280 unit and see what we've got in here. It's got a nice sturdy case. Okay, let's flip this open. And there we have it. It's our lovely unit. And inside there's a software disk, a user manual, and of course, factory calibration certificate with uh, data report. So let's talk about the actual tester. The 3280 is a digital transformer tester, and it can do winding resistance tests, it can do uh, transformer turns ratio tests, TTR testing on single phase, three phase transformers, up to one and a half uh, MVA. And uh, for winding resistance, its maximum current uh, output is thousand milliamps or one amp so it's not for the very large power transformers but anything uh, below one and a half MVA should be fine. Let's take a closer look at the 3280. You can see the rugged case. This is IP65 rated when it's closed and IP54 when it's open. Now this tester itself stores results inside its internal memory but if you want to take them off port them into the computer the USB port is located under this cap and you're, with the, you port those onto the computer and with the software you can analyze your, your test results, generate uh, certificates, uh, test reports, and also that's where you're going to create your auto sequences. We haven't created any yet, but that's where you're going to find them once you've ported them into the tester. Let's take a look at the actual tests. Single test, we're going to do a TTR, we're going to do a three phase transformer, let's do one of those. The settings for your transformer, you're going to enter them right here, and you can go inside and choose a delta Y, and you see we already have our voltages set perfectly for this transformer. And like any good TTR, this one was going to give you the excitation current, you're going to get your ratios, of course, and uh, phase deviation between the high voltage and low voltage over here. So those are the TTR side of the tester, single phase over here. When you want to do winding resistance, the maximum uh, current output of this unit is one amp. So we've got, again, we've got our single phase, three phase transformers. There we've got our measurements are going to be read here in ohms. This is where you're going to set the settings, again, for your transformer. Go in here, you can choose delta Y. and the general settings of the unit located over here. Let's move right into a single phase transformer turns ratio test, which we'll select from the menu right here. First, I'll show you the visual checks, which are a set of safety checklists. You can go through before, during, and after the test 
just to make sure you're following proper safety protocols while operating the instrument. We want ratio. There is a three phase section with phases A, B, and C, but today we're just going to use the single phase. And now we're in the single phase testing menu. I want to first start with a ratio of two. So I'm going to set my numbers. So the top voltage number I'm going to put at 240 volts. Okay. Bottom one is already set to 120. So that would give us an expected ratio of two. So let's make our connections. I'm going to start with the high side connections. So this is the test lead. And each test lead comes with is two clamps attached to it. So we'll use that for H1 and H0. Connect those here. And we'll make the connection to our turns ratio standard. So H1 and H0 are connected. For the low side, we have another test lead with two clamps. And we'll make our connection here to X1 and X0. Put that in nice and tight. Connect those over here to our ratio standard. And we're ready to now run our test at two turns. And let's see how accurate we can get this. Make sure those are in there nice and tight. And start. The top line is going to give us the turns ratio. The second line is the deviation percentage, so how accurate is it compared to what we're expecting, and then the excitation current down here. So we've got our return, 2.0005 turns, and the percentage of deviation, 0.03%, very accurate, and the excitation current was just under 1 milliamp at 0.98 MA. We'll save that result inside the tester here, Click Save, and you can port those results to your PC through Bluetooth or USB cable with the port underneath that cap. Next, we're going to go ahead and let's try 1,000 turns this time. So inside the settings here, we're going to change our top voltage number to 120,000 volts. and Bottom number stays at 120, giving us an expected ratio of 1,000. And uh, let me change my standard to 1,000 as well. And we're going to go ahead and run our test. So ratio at the top, deviation here in the middle, and excitation current at the bottom. Tester's running right now. And you can see my statistics are down here. This is your nameplate information for the transformer you're working on. And we've got our results. Ratio 1000.1 at 0.01% deviation, nice and accurate. And that's 0.14 milliamps. Save that result too. And done. One helpful thing I want to show you when we're in the test screen is the diagrams. So depending on the kind of transformer you're testing, you're going to want a different test setup than the one I'm using, including the leads. As you can see, we've got the different channels here. So depending on what kind of transformer you're testing, see here's a three-phase setup. You can scroll through the 28 different diagrams and try to find the transformer you're testing in there, helpful for in the field. So all the different possible connections you might want to use. Let's try a winding resistance test now. We're going to select it here. We're going to select single phase. I've got the same connections set up here from our TTR test. We're going to use H0 and H1, X0 and X1. And we're going to get readings for both RH and RX. So it's going to give us a, a resistance reading for both of these. We've got a 1 ohm reference resistor connected here. So let's go ahead and run our tests. And both of these results should be about an ohm. So let's see what we get. It's showing us the current being output currently, and that is about one amp. The maximum output current is one amp for this. There we go, so it's doing the RH. Now completing the RX. Let's take a look at those results. 
and those are definitely within spec for the unit and close enough to one ohm that I would call that a pass test. This button over here, you can save the results to the tester itself. You can add notes. I'm not gonna add any notes, let's just save it. That's to, that test is saved. When I wanna port it out, again, down here with the USB port. And that's a single phase winding resistance test. You'll notice I didn't need to set the current, it automatically detects it, similar to a DLRO. You don't need to set the current, just connect your transformer and start running. Easy as that.